What's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys today. I hope that you all had a good Halloween yesterday. I hope that you are all alive. I hope that you don't have cavities from all the candy that you ate. Uh, maybe just one. That'd be okay. Um, because that would show that you went pretty hard on the trick-or-treating. But we are here. We are doing a Town Hall 10 war base. All right? So I haven't done a war base in a while. Um, uh, I like making custom bases, as y'all know, obviously. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this. Obviously, Town Hall is going to be directly in the middle. Now, this style of base, as you can see, is kind of like a merry-go-round slash whirlpool slash patrolling, kiting base where you try and get the troops to walk around uh, the base. All right, so um, hopefully nobody in the opposing clan uh, watches my videos <laughs> because if they do then they will now know what the base looks like um, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and put every, all the buildings in here I've got it over here on my screen um, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in our mortars so now that we have four of them obviously it changes things up a bit and we still want them to cover the base very very well so we're gonna go ahead and bring all of these mortars and get them all situated so that they are covering the entire base right right um, next, we're going to bring in our Inferno Towers. We've got one right here, and we've got one right here. We've got the single target one right here, because I'm kind of predicting which side people are going to attack from. Um, and I think they're going to attack from down here. So I'll explain why the single target one is right there in just a moment. So let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our buildings. We've got an Expo right here, and we've got an Expo right here as well. Um, the Expos are triangulated, even though it's kind of a weird looking triangle. <clears throat> you can see that they are triangulated and they do cover um, a majority of the base. Now, I'm not, I don't expect to get attacked by air troops, so I might put these on ground uh, just so that they can uh, <laughs> reach a significantly further distance, uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, so let's go ahead and continue bringing uh, the rest of our buildings and we'll go ahead and bring in all of our air defenses So we've got an air defense up here in the corner. We've got an air defense right here We've got an air defense over here and we've got an air defense right here now um, I like I just said I don't expect to be attacked by air defenses uh, or by air troops but having uh, those defenses there still does attract like golems and uh, stuff like that. Gollum. It's such a weird word. So um, that's the reason that I have those there. I need to scoot this guy over one. Um, and yeah, so right now, the way that it's looking, you can see there's a whole bunch of defenses in that inner ring uh, just to kind of kite the golems around and also some of the other troops depending on uh, what the person attacks with, whether it's go wipe, go wee wee, whatever it may be. Um, and now let's bring in our hero. So we're going to have the queen right down here. And then we're going to have a gold storage right here. And we're going to have our king right here and a gold storage right here. Now, here's one thing that you guys probably aren't going to like, and that is the clan castle being right here. Yes, it is easily lurable, but now that we have skeleton traps, I don't mind it getting lured as much because the skeleton traps work like a mini uh, clan castle. So um, it may be lurable, but I'm just going to make sure that there are a lot of uh, troops in it, whether it's all archers, a couple wizard, maybe balloons, or um, even a lava hound or something like that, just so that when it does get lured, it just distracts the crap out of the attacking team. Uh, that's going to be my main my main goal with those. Um, so that's the one thing that I don't like about it per se, but it's not that bad since we do have our skeleton traps um, in here and in here and right over here. So. Um, that's the reason that I'm okay with it being right there. So let's continue bringing the rest of our stuff in. We'll go ahead and bring in our cannons. Um, believe that we had Archer Tower right here. And then another cannon. And then a Wizard Tower. Whoop, missed the cannon. We're going to use this cannon uh, over here, though. I'm going to remove that one. Let's, let's use a lower level cannon. So we're going to use that lower level cannon right there. Um, and then we're going to just continue working our way around the outside ring of the base. Bring this in here. Actually, I think that I put a... Um, uh, maybe I didn't. We'll go ahead and put this... No, we, we don't need a cannon yet again. 
Come on, Molt, what are you doing? Wizard Tower and Archer Tower. There we go. And then Archer Tower right here. And storage. Good. And then I believe that I had... Uh, yeah. So we're going to bring in the rest of our archers. Archer Tower right here again. And... Uh, storage, Archer Tower, nope, we had a cannon there, we want the Archer Tower right here, cannon right, uh, here, and then Wizard Tower, and Wizard Tower right here as well, storage, <coughs> Archer, and cannon, and let's bring this storage right here, over here, and bring this cannon right in here. And I believe that we had one more storage. What did we do with that? Guys, what did we do with that? Huh? Where the freak was it? <laughs> Let's do this. We're going to bring this elixir storage right up here. Um, and then we are going to do uh, cannon, archer tower, cannon. No, we need... What am I doing? My thing, my thing's all off because I switched some stuff on the fly earlier. Um, let's go ahead and let's bring this gold storage right in here. That's what we'll do, and then we'll bring in this other cannon right here, and then we should be looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and save that village. And again, guys, the way that this is is laid out is for the sole purpose of um, of kiting somebody around. All right, so I'm expecting someone to attack from this bottom corner. That's just where I think they're gonna attack. Hopefully, that's where they attack from. Um, if not, we do still have giant bombs and, and things up here at the top if they do decide to attack from there. But the way that I have it set up with the Archer Queen, and again, this is thanks to uh, talking to some people in the clan and whatnot about how they felt the base design looked. Um, if someone attacks from this bottom corner right here, the Archer Queen, once they get up into this area after being flung off and stuff, wall breakers get them in here, they're going to be drawn to the Queen. All right, so they're going to be drawn to the queen. She's going to pull them in, and then they're going to get a lot of damage done to them by those giant bombs, and then they're just going to slowly work their way around. They're going to get distracted by the P.E.K.K.A.s. That's why I have this single target Inferno Tower right here, because I imagine the queen's going to meet them somewhere around here, and then they're going to get attacked, and then their golems are going to go this way. We got that single target Inferno to crush them as they work their way around. All along, so-and-so has a jump spell in there, but it doesn't really matter because each of these buildings are close enough that the troops will hopefully go around and not have to worry about that jump spell. And again, if somebody attacks from up here, it's going to be the same way. Somebody's going to come into the king. They're going to get a lot of damage, get flung, and then they're going to work their way around this direction. So I think this base is going to work well. Um, I like designing bases. If it doesn't, I'll tweak it. <laughs> if it does, then I'll definitely show you guys some uh, footage of it in action and whatnot, hopefully in like a clan war recap or something after this clan war. This is going to be a hard clan war. I think the opposing team, uh, let's see how many war wins they have. They have 73, so I can't even read what it says. <laughs> Chinese and then the word clan. Um, so they're going to do... It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to see them and to, to fight them and whatnot, but I think it'll work out well. And hey, it's all a learning experience, right? I'm doing my best to learn how to raid better. Um, so yeah, I'm having fun. I hope you guys like the base design. You can try it out or you can wait to see how it works in this war um, once I tweak some stuff. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.